Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. This is the USW Ultra 60 Watt PoE switch. It's been around for a while and I've been using it in several of the networks that I manage for about a month. And as I was deploying the switch, I started realizing some very interesting insights I thought I would share with you guys. And also one topic I want to sort of demystify because I have been getting questions about it. So without any further ado, let's get started. All right, so the first thing I want to do is to sort of demystify something that I have been getting a lot of questions, questions about. As I said, this is the US Ultra 60 Watt variant. And in order to de start demystifying something, I want to start unboxing it. And you will understand why in just a minute. So inside the box, no surprises, we get the switch itself, seven LAN ports and another PoE in port. And we also get a 60 watt power brick and a power cable and some mounting mounting hardware, otherwise very standard. And so, as I said, this is the 60 watt variant, but there's also a 200, 210 watts variant or a no power brick variant. But regardless of which variant you choose, you will be getting the exact same switch, exactly the same. The only thing that changes is the power powering option which will then determine how much of PoE budget you will have to distribute across the seven LAN ports. All right, so that's the first thing I wanted to sort of get out of the way. The variants are the exact same switch. All right, so let's get to the more interesting part of the insight that I was starting uh, to think about because very quietly, even without noticing, this device really represents for me an, an important evolution in Unify small form factor switches, because up until this device, we had very limited options for PoE switches that are, as I said, small form factor. For example, for example we had the first gen US 860 watt PoE switch, Today we have the light 8 PoE switch. All of them are just four PoE ports. There's one exception, there's the light 16, but it's a whole new form factor. Both of them only gave you four PoE switches, uh, sorry, LAN ports, and both of them had a fixed PoE budget. Both of them, by the way, uh, were 50 wa uh, 52 watts, if I'm not mistaken. Also this variant with a 60 watt a, a, a power brick only gives you 52 watts of PoE budget, but with this switch we have other powering options. If we need more, we can get the 210, for example, and we can distribute the, the, the PoE budget across seven LAN ports and not just four. So for most or a lot of residential in installs, like three access points, three cameras, all you need is just this switch, which is great. Also, up until the USW Ultra, when it comes to switches that are PoE powered, we only had several options. One of them is still relevant. For example, this first gen US8, it only had one PoE in and just one PoE out. That's it. And we also have the flex switch, which is more of an outdoor kind of switch where you can power it with PoE and then you get four PoE out ports. But again, what's stopping you from buying a waterproof box from Amazon and sticking the USW Ultra in it? As long as the weather temperatures are not too extreme, you will be just fine. So you, you, you can start seeing the significance of this device in both of these use cases where this device replaces or gives new options and really brings the other options in a sort of a second degree, which for me, it represents a very big evolution. In fact, in my, 
In my deployment right here, this US Ultra switch will replace the US 8 PoE in and one PoE out switch, which is great because now I will be getting more PoE out options. All right, guys, so the next step for me will be to power on this device via PoE. And I will also talk about the certain, the, the specific PoE budgets and options in the second portion of the video. I will power it in, I will go into my Unify controller and we'll start adopting it and configuring and talk about PoE and PoE budgets, etc. Let's go. All right, guys, so the device has been adopted and here it is right here. And as you can see, there's nothing really special about the, the device. It's just a switch and it's a great switch. And we can go into the port manager and as you can see here are the ports and we can go into each one of the port turn on or off poe plus we can change the native villain and of course everything all other uh, unify switches can do so in that regard it's just a, a, it's just a switch but as i said before it marks for me a very important evolution in unify small form factor switches and of course it supports all other switching capabilities like port isolation storm control loop protection etc 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 everything is just like any other switch i just want to cover something that i said i will cover in the first portion of the video here is the device in the unify store you can see that we can purchase it purchase it without an ac adapter with a 60 watt one or with the two, uh, 210 one, the switch is exactly the same, but what what is different about it, if we'll go down to the technical specifications, now we can say that we can also power it with PoE++, and then we are getting 42 watts of total PoE budget, or we can power it with a PoE+, and then we get a total of 16 watts of total PoE budget, and Considering that a, a typical, for example, protect camera will only take about 4 watts, even 16 watts is plenty in, in some cases. And just a quick note, if you're wondering how do I know that regardless of which model you buy in the Unify store, you're still getting the exact same switch. Here's, for example, a proof of that. If I'll check, if I'll uh, click on my switch right here, I can see that in regards to model, it's specified as a USW Ultra 60 watts. But currently, I'm only powering it via PoE Plus, so I'm only getting 16 watts of PoE budget. The uh, the Unify Protect, or oh, sorry, the Unify Network knows that and it can report that. So I'm not getting 60 watts like the model says. I'm getting the real 16 watts because I am powering it with PoE+. Plus. So that kind of shows a, a, a little bit my point here. All right, guys, so this was my review or thoughts about, my, about the USW Ultra switch in all of its powering variants. I hope you guys like it, and I'll see you all in my next video.